Okay, let me start off by saying hello to my new subscribers and thank you for subscribing to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with y'all my process and techniques for trimming off the little knots at the ends of my daughter's twist in order to retain length. But before we move on to the next clip, let me just say, please excuse my mess in the background. Um, I guess on this day we were doing laundry, clothes everywhere, so please, please excuse my mess. Okay, so this is what Miss Haley's hair looks like. She's been wearing these twists for about a month. And I've continuously rinsed her hair with warm water when she takes her shower. But um, I haven't shampooed her hair in about a month. So as you can see, the hair is really, really dry. And let me get a close-up view of the um, twist. You can see it looks like it's somewhat uh, matted together or dreading up. Uh, let's see what else. Here's some length or, or something. Lint, I'm sorry. And here's a close-up view of her little uh, ponytails. I guess you can call them ponytails that I keep in the front. Um, and it also appears that there is a lot of new growth because um, the twist initially started like as close to the root as possible. But as you can see, the beginning of the twist right here is now all the way down here. So I'm assuming that maybe half an inch to an inch of growth. And this is the end of the twist. As you can see, there's a knot. Yes. Are you going to do one more? One more what? One more hair video. Do you like doing hair videos? Yes, but I don't want to get it for a long day. Not for a long day? Mm-mm. Well, how long should we take? I think I don't want you to take a long day because it's too bored. Because I will, it will be a lot of days to week and I will be so, and I will be, and I will be sweating. You'll be what? Sweating. You won't be sweating. <laughs> yes, so I don't want to get it. I, wanna, I don't want you to be for a long day. Oh, okay, it won't take long. Okay, so for recording purposes, I'm going to rinse Haley's hair in the sink. Um, as you can see, um, the hair is really, really dry, y'all. Look like little dreads. And I'll get a little closer. You can see, see the little edges right here? They're B2B. Hi, guys. I'm going to be recording while Mommy's doing Haley's hair. So, you won't see me much in this video, but make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the water as hot as I think she can stand. And, of course, if it's too hot, she will let me know. Okay, let's see if I can do it. And I'm going to use hot water because um, the hot water softens the hair. And when the hair is softened, it allows me to uh, detangle the twist easier without breaking. It allows me to get in the groove of the twist. Okay, so I'm just going to get the hot water and just rinse her hair. Making sure I completely, completely saturate the hair with water. Again, to make sure the hair is softened before I unravel the twist. Make sure I get the end. And again, I normally do this when she's in the shower. Um, I have a detachable shower head, so I'll just take the shower head off and um, rinse her hair. Making sure to remove any dirt or particles or dust. 
also the um, sweat and oil on a scalp. Okay, so in order to cleanse the scalp as much as possible, I, what I do is just allow the water to run on the scalp and then get my fingers and just massage the scalp just to um, loosen up any oil or dirt or dead skin. And it goes really, really fast because I know I'm not um, really cleansing the scalp. I'm doing the best I can to so, uh, hold me over until I'm ready to shampoo her hair. And while I'm rinsing her hair, I make it a habit to squeeze the hair in hope that the water would um, absorb in the twist. Because right now I'm just really rinsing off the twist. But I'm hoping when I squeeze the water in, it actually goes inside the twist and moisturize the hair inside the twist. Okay, so I'm done rinsing the twist. And as you can see, the twists are more defined. And I'm able now to actually see the grooves of the twist so when I get ready to unravel the twist it'll be uh, much easier just to break the twist apart as you can see but before when the hair was dry it was all tangled up and just doing its own little thing but now that it's wet and moisturized um, it's really soft and it will be easier for me to detangle the hair and prevent breakage and as far as the ends now the ends are curly you don't see the little knots anymore but as I unravel I will be looking for the little knots and before I untwist the twist I'm gonna clip the end I'll clip the little knot off and as you can see I'm able to now uh, get the hair and put it in one ponytail at the top of her head because the hair has elasticity because it's wet so if you're wearing twist and you for whatever reason want to put a bun at the top of your head or you know do some ponytails I suggest wetting the hair first and then um, styling the hair okay y'all so first I'm just going to get some of the ORS um, oil moisturizing hair lotion and rub it down the twist and again, as I've mentioned in the other videos, that helps me to, well, it helps the hair. It helps moisturize the hair so when I unravel the twist, the hair won't break. So I'm just going to do that and rub it down to the ends of the hair. And I know that it's possible that a knot is somewhere within the ends of her hair. I can't see it, but I can feel that the ends are not completely smooth so I'm just going to go ahead and clip off just a tad bit of the ends to hopefully remove the knot. If I don't um, clip the ends off when I try to unravel and it comes down to you know, when I unravel to the ends of her hair it's going to form a knot and um, the knot will actually be bigger than what it has to be like right now it's a knot in here I know somewhere um, and it's really really small but if I unravel it's going to be maybe like all of this will form into a knot okay so I'm just gonna get my scissors and just clip off just the ends it's not a lot of hair and it's not going to affect the length of her hair is actually going to help um, save the retain the length of her hair because as I mentioned if I don't cut that little knot off it's going to form a bigger knot when I um, unravel the twist so that's what I cut off okay, now I watch my tablet hold on Haley and this is what the ends of the hair of the twist looks like now and as you can see, I'm able now to just um, break the ends apart without forming a knot. 
well, a bigger knot. See that? Are you already done? No. And I am just pulling the twist and allowing it to unravel itself. Sorry, Haley, is it hitting you in the face? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to include this clip just to show y'all the uh, knots that I cut off, or more so the ends, because as I mentioned, um, I didn't really see the knots because they're really, really small, but um, I just decided to cut the ends off because I know that there is a knot. So um, this is what I cut off. And again, I'm not um, concerned that cutting um, these little ends off would affect the length of her hair because um, if I didn't cut this off, as I mentioned, cut these off, as I mentioned, um, when I uh, unraveled the twist, a bigger knot would have formed. And also, when I um, applied the shampoo to her hair, um, it would also cause a bigger knot to form. So cutting these off, being proactive and cutting these off uh, contributes to retaining the length of her hair. Okay y'all, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to click the little notification bell so you can receive notification when I post um, any videos. Uh, be sure to like, uh, subscribe. <laughs> be sure to share this video. Please leave me some comments. Uh, let me know of your experience with the little knots um, at the end of your hair or even at the end of your twist. Um, my next video pertaining to Ms. Um, Haley's hair, I'm going to uh, do a length check to show y'all the actual length of Ms. Haley's hair. I mentioned in a previous video that, you know, Haley's hair has a mind of its own when um, it chooses not, if it's not in a good mood, uh, it won't allow me to stretch it out. So this day, um, it allowed me to pull on it and stretch it out so you know I hurry up and did the little length check so in my next video pertaining to Miss Haley's hair we we are going to do a length check so until the next video guys bye bye